Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos on ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. This video explains the steps to orchestrate the message flow between the ClearPath server application and presentation application. Let's get started. To go over the orchestration process, we should have created a data source project. The COBOL eBank data source project we have selected points to an eBank application which implements some simple banking operations such as accessing account balance and transferring funds between accounts. Please keep in mind that when we create a presentation project using a data source, each client message will result in a corresponding web page. First, we have to create a login page. In ePortal message window, right click on the client messages node and click New. Enter login as name of the client message and click OK. Now we need to configure the web page content, which is done by adding ePortal message variables. Double click to open the login client message for editing. The Connect Basic Server message has variables user code and password which are used to supply the login credentials to the MCP application for connection. Now drag the variable user code and drop on the login message node. Similarly, drag and drop the variable password. Let's save the changes. Similarly, we will create a start page, Home, which will be displayed after successful login. Double click to open the home client message for editing. In the toolbox window, there are a number of ePortal message variables that you can add to a message. Double click the string variable. Click on field 1 and in its properties page, change the ID value from field 1 to choice to reflect the intent of the page. Next, we need to add the list of choices which will be available to the user on the home page. Change the property control style value to link button list. This will generate a control on the web page which consists of a series of hyperlinks. Now let's add list items collection. Click the add button to enter the choices. View account balances with value as get accounts and transfer funds with value as transfer funds. When the user selects a choice and submits the page, the corresponding value will be used to navigate to the next step. Click OK and save the changes. Now we have all the messages to perform the message orchestration. Let's open the orchestration window. Before we proceed further, let's make sure that some of the orchestration settings are configured correctly. Click on the root node in orchestration window and in its properties window, set the value of auto-generate pages to true. This causes a web page to be automatically generated for a client message. Set the default receive handling to map and forward. Doing so, a client message is mapped to a server message of the same name. The field data is mapped to the server message and the server message is sent to the ClearPath application. Set the default reply handling to map and forward. Doing so, a server message from ClearPath application is mapped to the client message of the same name. The field data is mapped to the client message and the client message is sent to the client. We will see an example of how Map and Forward works later on as we go through the orchestration steps. Now we will do the necessary orchestration steps for login. The On Client Session Start node is an event handler which runs when the application first starts. We want first the login page to be displayed to the user. Let's drag the login client message and drop it on the start node of the on client session start. This creates a reply action to return the login page. A reply action presents a web page to the user which corresponds to the client message. In this case, 
ePortal Runtime will return a page to the user where the user can enter login credentials. When the user submits the login page, ePortal Runtime needs to send a server message to the MCP application for login. Now drag the client message login from the ePortal message window onto the root node of the orchestration. This will create an onClient.login node. The onClient.login node is an event handler which runs when the user submits the login page. We will add the actions under its start node. Drag the server message connect basic onto the start node. This will create a connect action which essentially will send the connect basic server message to MCP application. Now we need to map the credentials from login web page to the connect basic server message. Double click the connect to eBank data source action to open the assign data window. For user code select the assign from value as variable. Similarly for password select the assign from value as variable. Notice that ePortal developer guesses the correct fields from login client message. Leave the assign from values as none for all the other fields and click OK. Now let's drag the home client message and drop it in the start node under onClient.login. It adds a reply activity to return the home page after successful login. Now we need to control the navigation based on option the user selected on the home page. Now drag the client message home onto the root node of the orchestration. This will create an onClient.home node. The onClient.home node is an event handler which runs when the user submits the home page. We will add the actions based on choice values under its start node. In the toolbox window, there are multiple activities that could be performed for an event. Let's drag and drop the IF activity. Now double click the IF activity to open the Edit Condition window. We can select the items from the Data Items window to specify the condition. Let's expand the Client node, then Home, and then select Choice. Click the Paste button at the bottom. Now click the Equal to Equal to button and type Get Accounts. Then click OK. Next, we will drag the Invoke Server Communicate activity on the Then node. Here, we are specifying what server message should be sent when user selects the option View Accounts Balances. Keep the selection on the node Invoke Server under Then node and in its Properties window select Bufin Get Accounts from the Send drop down box. Bufin Get Accounts is the server message which ePortal Runtime will send to the server application when the user selects the View Accounts Balances option. Next, drag Else from the Toolbox window onto the Then node. Under this Else node, we will configure what to do if the user option is other than View Accounts Balances. In this demonstration, there is only one other option which is Transfer Funds. We will drag the client message Bufin Transfer Funds on this Else condition. This creates a reply action. In this case, ePortal Runtime will return a corresponding page to the user where he can enter the fund transfer details and submit the page to transfer the funds. Let's recap the orchestration steps we have added so far. We created login page and home page with two choices. Then we configured to first display the login page. Once the user submits the login page, ePortal Runtime send Connect Basic server message for the connection. After successful connection, home page will be displayed to the user. The user will select choices on the home page. If the choice is Get Accounts, ePortal Runtime invokes server message Bufin Get Accounts. Server application will return the Accounts Out server message. 
Because of map and forward behavior, ePortal Runtime picks the corresponding client message, accounts out, transfers the values from server to client message, and then returns a corresponding page to the user. If the choice is transfer funds, ePortal Runtime, instead of invoking a server message, will reply a page to user which corresponds to client message, Bufin Transfer Funds. So far, we have orchestrated the message flow for two choices on home page. Now, the next step is to perform steps that should happen when the user interacts on the response to the home page choices. The first response page simply displays information to the user, so we will take the user to the home page. Drag and drop the accounts out client message on the root of the orchestration window. Next, on the start node of this newly added on clients dot accounts out, drag and drop the home client message. This will cause ePortal runtime to reply home page when the user submits the accounts out page. We will not add any specific orchestration steps when the user submits on the response page for Bufin Transfer Funds client message. Since the map and forward behavior is configured, first the ePortal runtime will copy the information the user entered on the web page from the Bufin Transfer Funds client message to the corresponding Bufin Transfer Funds server message. Then, the ePortal runtime send the Bufin Transfer Funds server message to the MCP server application. In reply to Bufin Transfer Funds message, server application will return confirm out server message. Again, map and forward behavior will play its role. Confirm out message will be mapped to corresponding client message and ePortal runtime will return corresponding page to the user which shows fund transfer confirmation. Fund transfer confirmation page will have just information, no input fields. When the user submits it, we would like to display the home page. So again, let's drag and drop the confirm out client message to the root of orchestration window and then drag and drop the home client message on its start node. One last step is to initialize and hide the transcode field in Bufin messages. Double click the Bufin get accounts server message to open it in message editor for editing. Select the transcode node. In its properties page, select the initial value as get accounts from the drop down. Then, set the visible property value to false. Similarly, for the Bufin transfer funds, initialize the transcode to transfer funds. And set the visible property value to false. Please note that when we save the changes in the server message, corresponding client message will be automatically updated. Here, we have shown you how to specify the message flow for a sample eBank application using ePortal Orchestration tool. Using the same techniques, one could specify the message flow for their legacy ClearPath MCP application. This completes the demonstration. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.